Oh my God. After Obama gave kill order for bald eagles, look what Trump did to save them. It is clear that Barack Obama was not a fan of the American way of life, largely because he attempted to destroy all of our national symbols. In a sneaky 11th hour decision, the Obama administration enacted new regulations that allow so-called environmentalists to murder bald eagles. The regulation came into effect in January of this year, and it allowed companies that operate windmills to kill up to 4,200 bald eagles and golden eagles each year. Windmills, this is a tweet from Donald Trump, Windmills are the greatest threat in the U.S. to both bald and golden eagles. Media claims fictional, quote, global warming is worse. Thankfully, President Trump revoked the, the regulation last week, ensuring the protection of our national symbol once again. I had heard about this a while back, and, and it, it was you know, it was very sad to see. In a new executive order, President Trump has called for numerous Obama administration initiatives to be rescinded or suspended. Thank the Lord. Many more were put up for review. This is part of Trump's effort to promote U.S.-based power generation and get people working again. One of the Obama programs up for review is the Clean Power Plan. The flagship Obama policy restricted the greenhouse gas emissions of coal power plants. The power plan was a thinly veiled attack on the coal power production. The regulations set forth by Obama increased the cost of energy and cost thousands of jobs in the coal sector. It is not only coal mining jobs that are on the line. The burdensome regulation increasing energy costs also cuts job in, jobs in all sectors. Companies that have had to pay more for energy have fewer funds available to hire new employees. Individuals who have to pay more for energy also suffer. The, so uh, the socialist policies of the Obama administration were an attempt to strangle the coal industry to the benefit of the green energy industry. They relied on price fixing to ensure their favorite companies would benefit. Obama was forced to handicap the competitors to the green energy sector by introducing burdensome regulation that increased the cost of doing business. Altern alternate, alternatively, President Trump is not limiting the ability of the green energy sector. He is simply not picking favorites. If it turns out that Americans want to pay more for power, they are free to do so. But it is simply wrong for a president to pick favorites and regulate competitors out of existence. If global warming is a problem, then a market to solve the problem will develop. We do not need to rely on socialist price fixing to solve a non-issue. I totally agree. Let us know what you think in the comments below and thank you for watching.